Last seen in Northeast Ohio, we are learning the missing son of former NFL player and Kent State standout Daniel Muir was last seen in Garfield Heights. Yeah, so on Friday, Indiana State Police issued an alert for 14-year-old Bryson Muir of Logansport, Indiana, saying that the teen is believed to be in extreme danger and may require medical assistance. Daniel Wiggins is following this story. Danielle, what are you learning from authorities? Well, Matt and Maureen, I spoke with Bryson's maternal grandmother, Cheryl Wright, earlier this afternoon at a home on the city's east side. She did not want to be on camera or have the home filmed, but she told me she went to pick up Bryson from Toledo last month, and that's when she suspected her grandson had been abused. Now, this is the photo issued by Indiana State Police showing Bryson with a black eye, a fat lip, and swollen face. Wright spoke by phone to our sister station, WTHR, in Indianapolis Friday, saying she went to Toledo after her daughter, Krista Muir, who is Bry Bryson's mother, asked her to pick him up. Wright told me today they agreed on Toledo because it was halfway between here and Indiana where the family lived. According to WTHR, Bryson told Wright that his father, former Indianapolis Colt Daniel Muir, is the person who gave him those injuries. He told me that, you know, he deserved it and, and it was okay. So um, I told him that it wasn't. No one should beat their children like that, not if they loved them. Now, I went to the Garfield Heights Police Department and secured this report dated for June 16th. According to the document, Wright called police twice saying Bryson was being abused and that she didn't want to turn the child over to his mother. But Kristen Muir ended up leaving the home with Bryson. Now, according to WTHR, Kristen and Daniel Muir are no longer cooperating with investigators after they backed out of a meeting with police where they were supposed to bring Bryson and Matt Garfield Heights police. They pulled over Kristen actually shortly after her mother called authorities. What happened during that traffic stop coming up at five? Okay, a lot of moving parts with this. We appreciate you breaking it down for us. Danielle, thanks.